Welcome back to another Moo episode. So, um, in my fun things to do in Moo, we talked about a little bit about lore in the library. Um, and I showed you the statues. One of the books, if you haven't been in here, is The First Dance. This book connects one of the statues. So let's go over this together. So it talks about, well, let's just read. The emptiness and the darkness of the universe was still just silence, but two cows lay across from each other in a field of nothing but dark. They are the only ones and they know what they must do. Their bodies moved gracefully and beautifully as they stood from the rest. The darkness being torn by pure light. Burr. The two turned with their heads toward one another and opened their eyes, just looking at each other with piercing white glow. The first lights. They curved their bodies around one another in a form of dance, prancing around themselves in a loop. Dark turns to light. The ground beneath them began to crack and glow. From purple to blue, the light turned to flame as they spun intertwining with one another, and the flames curved upward into the sky, creating the sun. As things began to form, the structures began to grow, flowers bloomed, and hope rises throughout the darkness. They still embrace and they still embrace in the internal dance, creating the world for the rest. They prance and prance for what feels like hundreds of years. As slowly as the world grows around them, the cave becomes darker and darker as the fog consumes their dance. Clouds form as grasses <clears throat> blows in the wind of fields. And as the rest of the, as the rest begins to birth and grow, and as the world opens its eyes, and breathes its first breath. The two dancing turn into stone. After one last turn of their bodies, and as the cave uh, they danced in becomes dark without their light, now their statues are surrounded by dark, darkening cracks of purple and blue. The only light left around them, sacrificing themselves for the rest of their new world. Since the ones before them did the same. So obviously, this story is related to the two cows uh, in here. They sacrificed themselves so that we could have the world of Mu. Just one little piece of allure for you guys today.